Black Hammer Beats. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in to Fitness and Guns, and I got another video for you on this special day. And what's so special about this day is my baby girl turned 11 today. Today is her birthday. So, y'all spam in the comments, happy birthday, Alana. I appreciate it. And also, head over to Black Hammer Beach page. His page is up here. That's my brother, my real brother. He made that beat in the intro. Tell him I sent you. And what I mean by my real brother, that's my mama's son. <laughs> But tell them I sent you. I appreciate it. This video today has been brought to you by Solly Optics. And this is what the video is going to be about today. The Shark X Pro from Solly Optics. About to take it to the range. Zero it in. See how good it holds zero. See how easy it is to zero in. Because I read on the paperwork that you have to... Instead of, if you want to go left, you got to turn it right. So everything is kind of inverted. If you want to go up, you got to go down. Turn down or something. You know what I mean? Hell no. So I'm about to see how easy it is to, you know, like zero this thing in. And hopefully it's not that bad. And I'm going to come back here and I'm going to give my honest opinion about this optic. I'm going to be using my Canic SFX rifle. I also have my Hollister in here. So I'm going to be doing some comparisons to that too, as well. Um, the Canic is already downstairs. This right here is my Canic. And you see it have the Sally on it. Kind of look cool. A little shark head at the front. You see the reticle in there? It's a tad bit smaller than, you know, the Hollister. But hopefully, <clears throat> it won't be that big of a difference. And this is raw and uncut, I ain't cutting nothing. We in the house with it. So this is what I'm gonna be running it on. I catch y'all out there. <laughs> so we here. I'm gonna um, get out there and set it up. I ain't gonna bore y'all with me zeroing it in. Cause I know y'all don't wanna see that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zero it in. I'm gonna put it to like a self-defense range or whatever, cause I'm not about to try to shoot down the street. Shoot down the street, your ass going to jail, remember that. So 15 feet, which is like five yards. Um, Yeah, and like I said, I'm gonna go back home and give my thoughts on it. So come on, let's get it, let's get, let's get to work. Huh? God damn, fucking up. So I'm gonna do what five yards. I guess that five yards to 15 feet. Self defense range. And I'll get back with you after everything get zeroed in. No, I'm with these. So now that I pretty much got everything zeroed in, I'm about to show you guys where it's actually at. And after I get finished doing that, I'm just about to, you know, simulate some drops um i'm not going to hit it with no bricks because what situation where you be in that your optic hit a brick you know what i mean so worst case scenario you drop your gun that's about the realest it'll get you know what i mean so that's what i'm gonna be simulating here um this fine equipment right here state-of-the-art equipment <laughs> but check this out i'm a shooter now i didn't told y'all ain't nobody out here messing with me and i shoot good with this gun check this out right here
pretty tight group. And it's like pretty much zeroed in. Um, so what I'm about to do now. Before I do it, mags out. Weapons clear. So, I guess this right here is going to simulate a drop. A shock proof on it or whatever. Um, let's see if it holds zero. Yeah, it's pretty much golden. It holds, um, I don't know what else to do as far as testing it. I mean, I could drop it in the dirt, but I mean, the dirt ain't gonna do nothing scratch up the lens on it. I mean, and what, what, what the hell would that prove? So, um, yeah, zeroed in. Perfect. I beat the hell out of it. I'm about to try it one more time. Beat the hell out of it. It's clear. Mag out. Down range. See? Still good to me. Headshot. Yeah, it's pretty much zeroed in. One thing I will say about it is the reticle is a tad bit smaller than it is from my Hollison. It's smaller than what I'm used to. I normally shoot with Hollison and the SRO Trigicon. So getting used to this, it's not it's not that big of an adjustment, but for the most part, it's a good optic. And um, if I ever said before, it's the Shark X Pro from Siley Optics. It's pretty good optic. But so far, no complaints. And I know I said everything will probably be, is convert, um, inverted, but whoever put that paperwork in there was wrong because you can zero an engine like a regular optic. Nothing is inverted. If you need to go left, you turn it the right way to go left. The left way to go left, you know what I mean? You turn it to go right, you turn it the right way to go right. So everything is pretty much basic. Um, one small thing, like I said, one small complaint I got is the reticle is a tad bit small, which means I, I feel like it make it a little bit harder to zero in. Other than that, I mean, y'all see I beat the hell out of it. I even damaged the wood. It's all skin up there, up here. And it's still whole, and that's stimulating drops or whatever. Like I said, I'm not gonna hit it with a brick. I ain't gonna, you know, do all that crazy stuff I see on YouTube with them. It's a good optic, and I suggest you get it. What's good? We back at the crib. And like I said, I'm gonna give my thoughts on the optic, on the optic, um, Sally, the Shark X Pro. Let me get my opinion on it. I really feel like it's a good optic, you know. Doesn't look bad. Looks cool, and I think I might leave it on. Might leave it on here for a while. So it, it, it's similar to the Hollison when it comes to that. Just hold on the plus button. Um, and this is my Hollison, the one that I took off of my Canic. This is the 507C. And compared in size and everything, it's about the same size. About the same size. It is the same size, to be honest with you. Not bad. But just like I said, for the most part, I feel like the Shark Pro X Pro is pretty good optic. And if you want the Shark X Pro, you can use my discount code to get it. What you do is you go to Amazon and type in the Shark X Pro. And make sure it's the, the, the seller is Siley Optics, of course, or whatever. And when you go down for the discount code, type in Fit Guns with an S, 15. Fit Guns 15. You get 15% off of it. I appreciate it.
And I know I said I wish, you know, the reticle was bigger, but it's a two MOA with the dot, but with the circle in dot, or just the circle is 26 MOA. So that's not bad at all. And the, for the price point is two, $53.99. I mean, that's not bad. It's a good budget optic. I mean, you're getting, it's good quality. You know, so I mean, hey, why wouldn't you get it? Sally, they sent me this optic or whatever to do this review. And just like I said, I'm going to give my honest opinion. And my honest opinion is, it's worth it. I wouldn't stamp no BS. You know what I mean? And another thing about my Vector. Still haven't heard nothing back from Chris yet. Hopefully, within the next two weeks, I hear something back. The store that I sent it to told me the turnaround time for them is like six to ten weeks. So, yeah, that's a long time without my damn gun, you know. But, hey, it is what it is. Can't do nothing but wait. Especially if they're sending me a new one. I hope they send me a new one. Still got some things to do today. Like I said, it's my daughter's birthday today. And like I say, spam in the comments. Happy birthday, Alana. Happy 11th birthday, Alana. I got four kids. Say like, bro, man, I got four kids. I got four kids. <laughs> Three girls and one boy. And Alana is my middle child. Well, youngest girl, my son is the youngest. Um, yeah, just wish her happy birthday. She'd appreciate it. And I will too. If you haven't liked the video, go ahead and like it. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Also, hit that bell so you know when I post. Share my video. Talk to me in the comments. I'll talk back. You know what I mean? But until then, be strong, be smart, be aware, and always stay strapped. Peace.